Hi, Tapstone here, Chief Engineer again. Say so thank you for all the support. We'll keep going now. The servicing is going really well now. We're coming right towards the end of our servicing and just doing the last final checks now before hopefully taking the aircraft outside next week to do the engine checks and the final test that required to hopefully get it back to flight extremely soon. Once again, thank you for all the support and look forward to the good news as soon as we can. Thank you very much. We're coming to the end of the winter service and we should see XH558 in the air in the next couple of weeks, we hope. As you can see behind me, uh, the last thing we're doing is giving XH558 a new paint coating and this will make her absolutely brilliant to look at in this uh, Dharma Jubilee year. I want to thank everybody for their contributions uh, to taking XH558 through the winter service and into 2012 flying display season. Hi, it's Steve Andea, Chief Paper Finisher to Hope to the Sky Project. And as you can see, you're now looking at a uh, nice, shiny, refinished Vulcan nose, tail, fin, and soon to be up surfaces as we are coming to the end of this. Uh, project for this year. Uh, it's been a long and monotonous task, which has been uh, seen some long hours and uh, lots of hard work. Apart from myself leading the project on the surface finish side, I must mention a big thank you to Jake Mathers, John Wood, Robert Miller, Jackie and Phil and also Lewis Steeper. Without their uh, help on board, this project would have been achieved. Um, I hope you all enjoy the new nice shiny Vulcan that you're going to see flying around the UK this year and uh, spare a thought for all the guys and all the hard work into making it look good for you. Thank you very much. Well Peter, tell me about the day the Vulcan first flew. Well, it actually flew on the Saturday, but we thought it was going to fly on Friday. And it got to the evening and then we thought it was going to fly. And the Lordy Fog was there already and he had his pin stripe suit. And this flew eventually to be the sort of thing he flew in regularly. His signature. Uh, yes, indeed. He said it were approaching the National Flying Service. However, he was standing sitting there in a car along with the works manager. And uh, they were getting ready to drive the aircraft. And eventually he said it was ready rolling climbed in and the aircraft taxied out and it started to get up and went along the runway and it turned out that he was only doing a fast taxi. Then he did another task taxi, fast taxi on the way back. Yes. And that was all we got that evening because by the time he'd finished his taxis, the sun had gone down, it was getting cold and it was dark. Too. Yes. Anyway as disappointed as I was, I decided to go in on the Saturday yes. to see whether he would get us a view of it like the first day. And I saw the air raid shelter, noticed air raid shelter that had been there since the war, and they, were, they had flat tops. And, and I sat on one of them and I decided to have a look in case anything happened. Eventually the Vulcan appeared, I heard the whining of course first, the Vulcan appeared and it came on and what I thought was going to be a fast taxi turned out to be the very first take off. And it took off there and flew really? beautifully, everything perfect. You have thought it had been flying every day, which was so good. Exciting moment. And it was indeed. And it did a couple of circuits and decided to eventually it landed. Incidentally, there were two chase aircraft and they were flying underneath. I didn't know about this happening but I found that this one the customer where, and especially with the Falcon mm -hmm. so futuristic mm -hmm. and the aircraft came round there and as it was approaching a little stuff something dropped off it and fluttered to the ground and this turned out to be the rear flap of the undercarriage doors. Anyway it was a perfect landing and this was the first time we it must have been a very exciting day for you. Top indeed. secret, of course, not many people watching. Not many, no. No, it was top secret, and the only people who knew about it were those who heard the roar of the engine and sometimes. Thanks very much, Peter. Fascinating day.